Oh my God. All right, listen, boy, have I got a treat for you. All right, today we are going to look at the top 10 hottest women on Joe Rogan's podcast, the JRE podcast. Enjoy. Hi guys, I'm Eric James from Rogan Tribe, and thank you for coming to this channel. This channel is all about bringing you nuggets of gold from Joe Rogan, Joe, Joe Rogan podcast, and uh, I hope you like this video. All right, starting with number 10. Every true Joe Rogan podcast fan knows about Dr. Rhonda Patrick. She's been on the podcast many times. Because there are so many variables. Yes. There's your 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 genetics. There's your immune system. Like, wh how is your immune system shaped yes. by what? Your there's your diet that's included in it. Your vitamin D status. Your you know mm -hmm. there's there's you. Know you didn't really think I was going to leave her off the list, did you? Dr. Rhonda Patrick is very very smart. She's a total nerd. She can take credit for schooling Joe Rogan on health, nutrition, fitness, saunas, diet. And she's a true fan favorite. So whenever she's on the podcast, you should pay attention. On to number nine, Michaela Peterson. This is, yes, the Jordan Peterson's daughter. Yeah, it was super weird, especially how the media was portraying him and how what was actually happening at the events wasn't what was being portrayed in the media. So that was weird to watch. And then people recognizing him on the street is strange. Michaela is very smart and yes, very hot. She's one of the main reasons that Joe Rogan tried the carnivore diet in January of 2020. A diet consisting of eating only meat. On to number eight, Miley Cyrus. Just all those stories that like, it's just amazing to me that the public kind of thinks that there's no gap of time that they didn't see that could possibly be what led to this. It was on the JRE podcast episode 1531. Smoking hot, and on the podcast with Joe Rogan, she talked about smoking weed as Hannah Montana, her new deep voice from vocal surgery, and her recent divorce with actor Liam Hemsworth. Check it out. And on to number seven, Nikki Glazier. On the first time they do something that like, you have a, na you have a natural talent at this. You go, I... I do, and then you do it again and again, because you're like, I'm good at this, this is my thing, and then you get good at it, and you're like, it's my thing. On this list, she's the second hottest comedian ranked, and honestly, really close to being number one. She's super hot, tall, five foot nine, and honestly, maybe it's just your preference, blonde or brunette. Keep watching, because if you think she's hot, there's another hotter comedian coming soon. And number six, I had to go way back into the archives to find Sierra Lynch. Part in the movie where we start kissing and it gets a little hot and uh, yeah, you have to see it to really see what happens. Um, but we decided to take some uncut footage, put it together, make it into a clip as a little bit of a meta sort of marketing thing and sell it on Now this girl's very unique. You better not be a naughty boy or she will beat you into submission. And Joe Rogan asked her on the podcast, if there's one word to describe your profession, what would it be? And she responded, humiliatrix. And number five, Candace Owens. She is gorgeous. For government control, it's for safety that they've impoverished millions of Americans who now rely on the government for money, right? Freedom is having your own money and deciding how you want to spend it. Slavery is the government giving you money, right? And you begging the government to give you more money, which is happening right now. She's a rare African-American and a huge Republican. And regardless of her political affiliations, she deserves her spot on this list at number five. All right, number four, Danica Patrick, standing at five foot two very petite and super hot what like if we ask a guy like what's wrong oh see that's just nonsense <laughs> talk see that's the day <laughs> like what's how wrong? many girls out there are like what's honey wrong? what's wrong what's wrong and you're like nothing sometimes but it's nothing. really is it really nothing yeah sometimes you just want to like decompress okay you know sometimes you just wound so up. is that annoying when a girl does that depends on the girl the queen of nascar is feisty petite and super hot and in high school, she was a cheerleader, a babysitter, 
and then go all the way up to NASCAR and dated Aaron Rodgers to the Green Bay Packers. So at this point, I'm curious, like, how am I doing with this list? Do you guys agree with it or am I way off? Let me know in the comment section. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. All right, number three, Melissa Chin. This could be a matter of personal preference, but she, to me, is super, super hot. She's Asian from Singapore. There's no shame People in that. There's no shame in attempting to eat bull testicle. Actually, I think right. that's heroic. It's definitely not heroic. And it's now a show on <laughs> Food Network, right? Well, bull testicles are actually a common food. They're yeah, yeah. Rocky Mountain oysters. Gross stuff is. They don't taste bad. Bull testicles do not taste bad. They're actually, they, the way they cook them, they cook them well. She moved to Boston when she was just 17 years old. And that's kind of something common with Joe Rogan because he lived a lot of his life in Boston as well. Now, Chin is cute, feminine, got a sexy voice, and very smart. She serves as the New York editor to The Spectator USA. All right, coming in at number two, Rose Namahunas. Whatever, and she's like breaking in her gloves, and she's like, and that gave her like the what's up, you know? And she gave me a what's up, and then she was like, um, she's like, I think she asked me something like, did you buy the ticket? Or like, Don't let the short hair fool you. Standing at five foot five and 115 pounds, she is smoking hot and she will kick your ass. A UFC fighter, Rose is the Anna Kornikova of MMA fighting. All right, congratulations. You made it this far on the list. Let me know how I'm doing in the comment section. All right, number one. You probably know who this is if you're a big JRE podcast fan. Whitney Cummings. The second sex is over, if I was on top, don't push me off you. <laughs> as quickly as possible. Cummings is 5 foot 11. She's a stand-up comedian. Great shape, great body, great face, and hilarious. And she's the type of girl you would want to be able to take around your guy friends. She can be one of the guys. Cummings is the hottest stand-up comedian of all time. Guys, thank you so much for watching.